mountains go before you. I'm behind you. I'm beside you. All around you. I'm within you. He's with you. He's with you. In the morning. In the evening. In the coming. And you're going. In your weeping. I rejoice it. He is for you. He is for you. He is for you, 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 presence 
the life in the presence of God is very different. More than 17 years I've been living that kind of a life. It's very different. It's absolutely, you cannot explain how it is, but those who found that presence of God in them and those who are living it, they can understand. But I feel the Lord is saying that my will for your life is to be in the presence. I want you in my presence, the Lord says. Come. Come in the presence of the Lord. God wants to give you, God wants to release into your life. Just pray to say to the Lord, God, take me in your presence. Your presence, oh Lord Jesus. I want to live in you, Jesus. 24 7, God. 24 hours. Day and night, Lord God. I want to be in your presence, Lord Jesus. Fill you. Fill you inside out, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord. Just invite the Lord. They invite the Holy Spirit and invite His presence now in your life. Now, let's take a few moments. Just say, God, come, come, Lord. I open up. May my life go cold, Dita. May my heart go cold, Dham. But Mr. Aja, Pavitratma, Aja, Aja, Aja. Come, Holy Spirit. The presence of God. The presence of Jesus. The presence of the Holy Spirit. Come now. Come now. Come now. Come now. Hallelujah. Come now. Come now. Come now. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come Lord, come Lord, come Lord. Release it, Father, all over this place. Release it, Lord, for everybody. That's your plan, Jesus. So Lord, we want to have your presence. We want to live in your presence, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We have been living a life, Jesus, that the world gives, the world wants. And the world, Lord Jesus, put in front of us, Lord. Now we want to live. In the presence of God, Jesus. We want to live in you, God. We want to live in the love of God, the mercy of God, the grace. Full, full, complete, full. All over our life, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come, Lord, take us. Take us, Lord, take us. Take us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just the way you took Moses, Lord, in the presence. Take us, Lord God. Take us, oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All over, all over. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord God, I, I release everyone over here and prophesy Jesus over everyone's life and release everybody, Lord Jesus, to live a life in the presence of God from today. Live a life in the presence of Jesus Christ of Nazareth from today. From today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. And Lord God, I reject everything, Jesus, that stops your presence, that stops people going into your presence, that stops people coming into your presence, Father. Lord Jesus, I come against everything and I reject everything that the devil brings again and again to stop people coming closer to you, to stop people being in your presence, to stop people in prayer, to stop people, God, reading your word, obeying you and doing what you want to do. In the name of Jesus, we reject you, devil, in Jesus' name. And we bind you, we command you to leave in Jesus' name right now. Everything that disturbs, everything that comes against in Jesus' name, we bind it right now. Come on. Anything that, that, that is disturbing you from last few days, three weeks, in Jesus' name, bind it right now. Bind it right now in the name of Jesus. Reject it right now. Cast it out right now in Jesus' name. The Lord says, I've given you power. I've given you authority to cast out any evil, to cast out any demon, to cast out any disturbance. So cast out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. No other name but Jesus' name. We cast out in Jesus' name. Every anxieties, every worries, every pressure, every frustration in Jesus' name. Every irritation I command you to be gone. Every pornography thought in Jesus' name, be gone in Jesus' name. Every disturbance 
in the mind that the disturbance in Jesus' name in top line, I command you right now, be gone in the name of Jesus. Every anger spirit be gone in the name of Jesus that comes against having the presence of God, experiencing the living God in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We bind every selfishness right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of selfishness in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be gone. The spirit of ego, I bind you right now in Jesus' name. Be gone in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Devil, we live for the glory of God. We live to lift His name high. We lift that Jesus' name would increase and our name would increase. So we don't need any ego. We don't need any pride. Stop bringing in any way in the name of Jesus. It is for the Lord. It is for His name. It is for His glory. Not for our name. Not for us. Not for we are the children of the living God. We are the disciples. We are the missionaries. We are the evangelists. We are His family. And He is our God. Our Father. Our Savior. So devil, no longer any ego spirit in Jesus' name. No longer any pride spirit in the name of Jesus. In anybody's life in Jesus' name. We choose to humble ourselves. We choose to live. A humble life. It's our choice, devil, that we will continue to live humility, humble life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, Father, I pray from here onwards, oh God, our church would be known for the presence of God. Our families would be known for the presence of God. Our children would be known for the presence of God. Lord, fill everybody's life. Overflowing Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, we have heard so many times. We have heard, read so many times, Jesus. The shadows of the disciple were so powerful, filled with your presence, that sickness and sick people would be healed. And how your presence was upon them, Jesus. So God, I pray for all of us over here. That your presence would be so strong for everybody. That the shadows, the touch, anything and anywhere, Lord, would change everything. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, I pray that you speak to each one of us right now. Show us your glory, Lord Jesus. Speak, O oh God, I pray. What is in your heart for Every individual, the whole church, Father, I pray that you talk to us right now through the prophecy, Lord, picture, or in the scripture, Lord Jesus. Any word, Father, any word, any word, Jesus, for anybody. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord says to somebody, it's a woman over here, a lady, that I made you like eagle. To fly high, given you an eye for eagle to see every detail. Given you a mind of an eagle to be sharp, to see beyond, to understand more deeper and beyond to know and to understand what normally others don't understand I've given you an eagle's mind the sharpest mind the eagle's wing to fly high to go above everything to be above all and everything take up the Lord says fly fly Take yourself up and above and fly. Fly with no limits. Fly as much as you want to go higher. Go, the Lord says. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name, Jesus. If that's you, are, if you are the one, shake up your wing that have been so tight enough disturbed with all worldly stuff or family or any other things. Just shake like how the eagle does.
that some of the old feathers fell off that are holding you up. That some of the feathers come out, even if it pains. Let it go. It's better. You will have new feathers come. You need it to fly more higher. You need new feathers. Go. Let the old one go. Let the old one come out. Let the old one leave you. Even if it is painful. Make a decision that might be difficult and hard. It would be painful. That somebody would not understand. But do it, the Lord says. Do it. Let the feather fall with making a tough decisions. Thank you, Lord God. Christians are not called to make easy decisions. People who trust in Jesus are not called to go easy way. Are not called to take easy routes. But are called to take the trusted routes. The routes and the ways that you feel that you need to trust God. Nobody goes on that path in that way. The only people that are on those paths and those ways are the Christian ones. The one who follow Jesus. Not everybody stands on the water. The only one who walks on the water and stands on the water is the one who follow Jesus. The one who trusts in His name. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I have not called you, the Lord says, to go the easy way. I have not called you to live the easy life an easy way. I have not called you, the Lord says, that has no thorns on it. I have not called you. The Lord says that the roads are not straight. I have not called you on it. I have called you on the road which is tight and full of thorns. I've called you on a life which is so much happening everywhere, all over the way you turn. I've called you on that way. Why? Because I've made you effective, the Lord says. Why? Because I've made you a person to be example to many. Because I've called you and made you that you would change people's life. I've called you to be on that difficult path and difficult ways so that you can change the difficult ways and difficult things in people's life. I've called you because I trusted you, the Lord says. I trusted you. That's why I called you. And I called you, trusting you that you will remain and stay. I called you and I trusted you so that you will not leave. I've called you and I've trusted you. I've put people's life into your hand. I've trusted you with many people, many nations, many lives. I've trusted you with your own children. I've given you children, the Lord says, because I trusted you that you would look after, you would care, you would love and not give up. I've trusted you, the Lord says. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says to somebody, I've called you to remind you something today. I've reminded you something. It's a day of a reminder for you. I don't know who that person is, but you know who you are. The Lord is reminding you for something. It's a reminding day for you. God is saying something as a reminder and respond to Him today. And it's not over, the Lord says. There is still some more time left that I will sp still speak and remind you. I'll still show you something and remind you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The moment the Lord says you commit sin, I forgive you. The moment you fall, the Lord says, I forgive you. 
the moment you do wrong, the Lord says, I forgive you. Thank you, Lord. This will not stop. This will go on. This will continue, the Lord says. I forgive you. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving our sins. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I just see somebody over here, maybe a few of you, but I just see around a circle, but in that circle, some flies have come, some black flies have come. And those black flies are the evil ones that come to steal something. to be kicked out the thief has to be shouted and commanded to go up you got to be strict with the thief the fly has come as a thief so if you feel that the thief is in your life right now just open your mouth it's you who's going to pray right now and the thief will leave with your voice and with your prayer in the name of Jesus. So let's do it for together now. In Jesus' name, I command that evil fly who has come to steal in Jesus' name. I bind you right now and I command you to get out in Jesus' name. Be gone right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thief comes to steal because we have something that's why you have come to steal if we did not have anything you wouldn't have come just because we have things yeah, that's why you have come but it is for us babe, in Jesus name devil it is for us it is not for you to steal in Jesus name so we refuse to give you what belongs to us in Jesus name we refuse to let you take anything what is for us in Jesus name take off your hand and be gone Come out right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It is for us. It's not for you, devil. It's not for you. Thief in Jesus' name. It is not for you. It doesn't benefit you anything. It will not suit you anything. It is for us. It, it is for our benefit. It suits us. It's a blessing from the Lord for us. It is the prayer answer from the Lord. God has given us our prayer answer. So devil, live in Jesus' name. I bind you right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You can't take any money through fine in Jesus' name. Through losses in the name of Jesus. To reducing anything in Jesus' name. You cannot take any food, clothing, property or anything else in Jesus' mighty name. Nothing will be taken, devil, from our life in the name of Jesus in any form in the form of bank in the form of any government office in the form of council in the form of any people anybody in the form of a mobile or anything that those are bills in Jesus name get out in Jesus name we refuse to give you it is for us I declare it it is for the church it is for my church family in Jesus name in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. So, Father, I bless everybody's finances. I bless everybody's house. I bless everybody's job. I bless everybody's health. I bless everybody's clothing, food. In the name of Jesus, I bless everybody's, Father God, the toys of our children, the books, the school, the shoes that they have, the football, and every game that they want to play. I bless it in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name. Anybody has any prophecy? Anything God is showing you? Uh, I do 
saw one woman and I saw a group of uh, people around, I feel it's majority of the ladies, and I saw them wearing white robes and they were all walking in one direction towards like a bright light. It looked more like an army walking together. So, Zimane, सब बहन को देखा जो औरत लोग है लेकिन सब गाँव कपड़ा पहना हुआ व्हाइट वाला और सब एक साथ चल रहे हैं जा रहे हैं सो कहीं जा रहे हैं वो साथ में कुछ तो बड़ा कुछ कर रहे हैं हमारे लेडीज लोग Our uh, ladies are doing something big. Looks like in the days to come. Amen. Yes. All right. Anybody has anything? No one. Okay. Thank you, Ashiti. Praise the Lord. Um, yes. I saw Daniel singing song today. Well then Daniel So that's Daniel over there and um, Daniel was born in prayer I still remember the prayers that we were having on the phone and and Esther was battling in Chelsea hospital as a mom it was such a nice uh, that day It was also a day that uh, that the COVID had started. No? It was all scary. This warrior came out, yeah. and I had no problems. So praise God. God has protected uh, even the difficult days and difficult times in the hospital. It was COVID thing happening, and children were born. So Esther and Manny has got two children. One is Hannah, six-year-old, just somewhere close to Ezekiel, back and forth. And uh, so welcome, Manny and Esther. Nice to have you. After a long time, and uh, um, you've always been our prayer. And this, some of you are new, but Manny and Esther are the closest people to us as a church. Always been with us and supported us, even though you don't see them after the COVID. The children and they stay in Clapham now, close to Clapham. And uh, but they are always been with us. Praise the Lord. So nice to see you guys and God bless you. Samantha from America is here, and she brought a love from White House, the president, for all of you. So welcome, Samantha. So Samantha is going to be around us long time now. Maybe settle over here. And uh, but she's going to be in Harpenden with Trisha, not with one BTS, but doing something else. Right? But uh, we will see Samantha maybe come and preach in the days to come and uh, do more in the church. Praise the Lord. Um, who else? Everybody's all right. Uh, Nitin and um, uh, Nitin's wife, she's having a little surgery, and uh, they might come here. But uh, just keep keep her in your prayer. Is she coming here? Yeah. Okay. So we'll have prayer for her. It's a small surgery, and uh, so both will come. Okay. I've got a video to show you guys. We've been praying for for uh, Switzerland for a church plant, and it took me a long time to make these videos because there has been lots of uh, videos and all. So, but it is finally ready. It is a little bit longer, maybe a couple of minutes more. But watch this as we are praying for for this is Zurich, and then. The capital burn. I will show you the video next time once it is ready. But we are praying to plant a church over there, um, and maybe start a business over there in Switzerland. So 
in I believe in next couple of months uh, we will be three people will be going to Switzerland with the cross and uh, we might go to Geneva another city where the whole world's prime minister president comes together once in a year it would be nice to pray over there but we will be doing evangelism and praying on the street for church plan okay so so let's watch the video first Sam. so let's watch uh, zurich and um, if you guys want this video on your phone um, can you put off this slide you got the video Zurich, where this, this place is, is the, the biggest city of Switzerland, like London. It also has got uh, the Swiss bank. Okay, let's watch. As soon as we came to Zurich, we started crosswalk. That's so why you see two different clothing. So we went to our land with the cross.
Bind their broken hearts with love. Stretch my hand through our creation with this message of my love. That I came to bring light in their darkness and bring joy where there once was pain. Take my healing to the nation. Father God, we just want to pray for Switzerland as we have gone there and you've spoken to us to plant church over there. We pray, God, that you would speak to us where, how, when. Give us the house, Lord. Give us families and people, Jesus. We're going out there, Lord Jesus, again by faith to plant a church. Not take people from other churches, but, but plant a church among people, God, who have never been to church, who never heard the gospel, Father. Lord, I pray for breakthrough. Raise up pastors, God, raise up worship leaders, and evangelists, Lord Jesus. God, we're going, Lord Jesus, as a church which deals with deliverance, evil, and black magic, and many other demonic stuff that people are suffering with. Pray, Father God, that we would become a blessing to the nation Jesus of Switzerland. So we come in this country to you and ask you, Jesus, to continuously speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let's have our offering. And uh, Sam is ready. So let's pray and ask the Lord what we should give today. Father, I just pray again that you will speak to us again, Jesus. Lord, we believe in a miracle working God. A God who just said to the servant, fill up the bottles that were kept over there in that wedding. When Mary understood and saw and heard that the Jews, the wine, was over, had finished, nothing was left over there. But that day, Lord Jesus, something big that Mary knew that Jesus is present over there. Lord Jesus, we know what Mary knew, that Jesus is present in our home, in our life. Jesus is present all the time. In every income that we have, every salary that we get in our homes, Father, the business, 
every customer that comes in. We know, Lord Jesus, that Jesus is present. And when Jesus is present, then it is sure that miracle would happen. It is sure that the water would turn into wine. It is sure that it would be the best. It is sure that it would be a satisfying. It is sure, Lord Jesus, that it would be enough for all. And it is sure that it would remain like 12 baskets remain. So as we give today, Lord Jesus, we give it by faith that many had that day. The faith of many, Lord, changed the whole wedding party. And everybody was satisfied and happy that day. Everything that was lacking, that Jesus removed it out. Today, by faith, Jesus, we give to remove everything that is lacking in Jesus' name. And we give today, God, to build your kingdom like in Switzerland and many other cities and many other towns that the cross goes, the lift led, the evangelism goes, the food goes for the homeless, and even the money goes, Lord, to many other places for our pastors, for their rent and for their daily needs in Jesus' name. So build your kingdom, God. Speak to us what we should give tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so Sam is going to come around. You can give, but say, build your kingdom as you give. In Jesus' name. Tuesday, there is going to be prayer. But there's going to be a little bit of change of our worship. Because Trisha is coming next week for two weeks holiday, right? Yeah. Okay, so there will be a little bit changes. But I will do the announcement about the Monday worship prayer and the Tuesday and wait for the text message, what comes. But you see the wires and all that over here? A lot of things are changing. We are almost there to record songs and many other stuff. This is first time we are doing it. You see that the Facebook and other recording has got no disturbance and the voice is good. So hopefully it will work. Sam is learning, he's doing very good and deserves a lot of clap from all of us. He doesn't know anything, but he's been watching, meeting people, talking, and, and things are changing. So, praise the Lord. Um, Wednesday, I'll be going with the cross to another city. So, I'm just 16 cities away to finish England. Very excited. And last uh, uh, Wednesday, I was in Exeter, Trinidad. Did I pronounce Exeter? Exeter. Exeter. Okay. It was a nice city. We had a very nice time. We met people. We prayed for people over there. It was wonderful. And Colston from Bristol, he was with me on Wednesday. And uh, hopefully uh, the following week I'm doing three, three cities in one week. Which one, uh, which way uh, would, it will help me to finish maybe next one and a half month and then we all would walk to his Westminster, that would be our last city of England to finish and then we'll celebrate the big achievement and big victory of all the cities that we've finished and I'll promise you I'll give you nice food, maybe pizza and ice cream and, <laughs> and we'll celebrate with Jesus for giving us such a big opportunity to walk with the cross and complete it as a nation of England. Uh, homeless ministry, Sam will go on Friday, last Friday, the whole family was there, I believe, and, and I saw some photo, Matthias was there, right? Yesterday. So, yesterday. So, praise the Lord. Uh, um, um, so, this Friday, if anybody wants to go, call, call uh, Sam and he will take you in his car. Stretch out your hand and receive your blessing. And specifically, I felt today to receive miracle like the wedding when Jesus was present over there. And receive today the, the, the restoration of, of finances where things were lacking. So where things were lacking and Jesus came and touched the water. 
In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father. And by faith, we all receive. Ishu Misi ke naam se. Jo bhi kam, kam tarta hai, kam padta hai, paise mein, ya koi bhi cheez mein, Ishu ke naam se, usko mita de, in Jesus' name. Let those lack be gone right now, in the name of Jesus. Let those lacking of finances, lacking of various of things, in various of stuff, in life to do various of things as moving forward, going forward, growing, being fruitful in Jesus name. We command everything that lacks in Jesus name be gone. And we declare today and say and prophesy today that just the way that Jesus was present in that wedding, Jesus is present in everything that we have in our homes, in our ministry, in our church in our job, in our business, in Jesus' name, from today, that it would be no lacking from today. It would be overflowing, overpacked. It would be best and it would be beautiful. It would be good, it would be tasty. It would be all packed in Jesus' name. It would be enough for seven generations to be blessed. It would be enough to be, to be a blessing to many other pastors and many other ministries and many other people, many other people who are in need, it would be enough in Jesus' name. So, Father, I pray for blessing upon everybody to have these new properties, new houses, and also, God, continuous prayer of new businesses, petrol farm, factories, God, in Jesus' name. And I pray, Father God, like Switzerland, many other places, God, that you will open up for us to go and to do good in businesses, saving businesses, Father. So bless every house, bless everybody, and build your kingdom in Jesus' name. And let there be 12 baskets remaining in every house every day. In Jesus' name. And everyone say? Amen. 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 Okay, so it's Trisha's day today to preach. And I believe she's got a message that God has given. But she's also going to share some of the things um, of her experience where she went to South America. So come to share. There is a there is one picture, Sarah. There's a picture. Can you just put can I ask the parents, uh, Fiona and uh, Priyanka? Yeah. Betsy will do. But even all of you, the, the grown up, can you download this app on your phone? It's on Apple also. And it is also on the Android. And uh, it's an app, very nice, which has uh, all Bible questions. Okay? So children, you will get a prize. But every day, you have to do this. And parents, you can make this compulsory to use this for maybe half an hour. And uh, I believe if we all do this, and I believe if the children does that, they will know the Bible quite easily. Okay? They will know the Bible characters, some of the places and many other details that, that sometimes we cannot share. Sometimes it's not enough for us to do with our children. Yeah? Yeah, app. Download karo aapke phone mein. Aur ye bachcho ko compulsory roj khelne ke liye dena hai. And every day they have to do. If you are weak in the Bible, if you can't read properly, this will be a best one for you to take it as a fun and use it whenever you have a time. Even sitting in the bus, traveling, or doing nothing, or at home, on the bed, do it. There is one more, I have similar kind of one, but my wife has been using this one, so she recommends this one on her Apple phone. But this was on my Android, so that's where I took the screen shot. So, everybody understood? Sabko samaj mein so let's do it, okay? And uh, hopefully next Saturday I'll ask some of the questions that you might learn. I tell you, I did it and it's fun. You can easily know it and, and it, it really gives you a, such a good understanding and good knowledge that we all need to know about the Bible. Jeremy, download it. You did? 